Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video where I'm going to give you some of my tips for the BMAT essay. So try and watch these carefully because we believe these are common areas that a lot of people fall into the trap of. So it should be your aim to try and avoid these. First of all, don't write the essay without a plan. If you don't plan the essay, your essay will end up having a disordered structure and will mean that your points are not presented in a coherent manner. When you're presented with a question, it's natural to head in straight and put pen to paper. But being able to properly decide what you want to include in each paragraph will mean that you get across points in logical formats. Also, try and cover all components of the question logically. Like mentioned earlier, you're going to be presented with a statement and be asked to answer four questions based on it. Ensure that you address each of these and offer enough counter-arguments to the points you are making. This will ensure that your argument is well balanced and you are maximising the content marks that will be gained. Try and follow these four questions in a logical order because it will make it easier for the examiner to see that you've addressed all aspects of the question. If you don't address all aspects of the question, you're only going to get a maximum of two marks for content, no matter how strong the rest of your essay is. My next tip is that you should mark out how much you're going to write for each component. So here in different colours, I've you know, with the pen you could just make a little mark on your piece of paper so you know when to stop writing. Because like a lot of the time you'll end up writing too much for one paragraph and then not having enough space for a counter argument. This happened when I was practicing. I'd end up writing for one side and then there just wouldn't be enough space. So I started to mark out how much I'm going to write for each paragraph, like I've done here. And yeah, so for, so you know when to end your introduction and start your first paragraph, for example. So it'll, and this will make sure you don't overrun and it'll also make sure that your argument is well balanced and not, you know, one-sided. Now, try and present your argument concisely, okay? You need to make sure that you're really pertinent in each point that you're trying to get across. Don't waffle or repeat your point several times, because whoever digresses and strays away from the question, they'll lose marks for quality of content, and that will mean they don't have enough space to cover other points that they're aiming to make. You don't get any extra marks for re repeating a point, okay? And in an essay where you only have 200 words, you can still get five of quality of content, okay? You don't have to write lots and lots and lots. Don't think, oh, I have to fill this page. If you feel like you can only write 200 words and it's concise, don't worry, okay? And by being concise, it doesn't mean list 10 different points, okay? Try and use examples which are relevant to the argument and really do explain them. And don't repeat the same word again. Like, furthermore, a lot of people use furthermore again and again. There are alternatives like moreover, in addition, okay? Give a balanced argument. So make sure that for every point you make, there is a counter argument. Candidates who score highly will argue from several different viewpoints and will analyse different arguments in order to decide what the most appropriate conclusion is. It's vital that you don't just present your own views as a topic because a strong essay will be balanced and supported with coherent evidence that can be achieved through the use of examples. Don't use words and phrases such as I think or I believe that because it really comes across as biased and subjective. Fair enough, you do have to give your opinion at the end, but there are ways to do it without crossing the line between opinionated and also remaining objective. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all eight eBooks, click here now.